why are we discussing about strings and why are we discussing about languages where are we going to use it in practice there are many applications there are many practical applications but i would like to take just one example and tell you where we are going to use them at practice okay so you can consider the c programming language let us assume we have the language the c programming language okay if you look at the c programming language what are the symbols that we type when we are writing a program maybe you type the symbols like this small a small b so on small z capital a capital b so on capital z 0 1 so on 9 and some special symbols like plus star so on so this is a finite set we are going to always use a finite number of uh, symbols in order to represent a c program in order to type a c program and now you can call this as sigma for the c program so the alphabet for any c program is going to be this the alphabet for any c program is going to be this which is obviously a finite always remember alphabet is going to be finite it is never going to be infinite okay and next one is using these strings or using these symbols we are going to form a string right so if you write like this void main something and then int a comma b so on and close it this is nothing but a string this is actually a program program in c in c it is a program but coming to toc it is nothing but a string isn't it sigma is nothing but alphabet when you come to toc and is nothing but set of all symbols which are allowed uh, when you look at c programming language and now a program is nothing but a string interesting now the question is what is what is c programming language what is c programming language c programming language is nothing but set of all valid programs set of all valid programs so when i say the important word is valid which means there can even be invalid programs which will give you some error when you are going to uh, compile it or when you try to run it so the interesting question here is what are the valid programs and given any program how can i say that the program is valid and the program is invalid right so first question is how many strings will be there in the c programming language or how many programs are possible over c programming language answer is infinite you can write any number of valid c programs like let us say p1 is a program p2 is a program p3 is a program so on infinite so the c programming language is going to be infinite now the next question is given a program p n given any program p n how can you say that it is valid we can say that it is valid if the program is present in this set in this language now the question is how can i find out whether a given string is in the language or not or let's go to c programming language how how can you find out that a program is valid and how can you find out that there are no errors in the program so smallest thing maybe maybe the name the name answer is you can ask me to save set of all possible programs on a computer and then just check if this uh, program pn is a part of that all the programs or not which means that the nearest the smallest solution or the simplest solution we can think of is save all these programs on the computer and given a program go on scanning com programs one by one and if there is a match we can say that it is valid but the problem with this is any computer will have a finite memory but then the number of programs possible is infinite so obviously we cannot do this so we are mainly interested in this given a language and a string 
now the interesting question i want to ask is whether this string is present in this language or not if the language is finite yes you can enumerate all the strings in your memory and then given a string we can scan all these strings one by one and we can check if this is present or not but but the problem is if the uh, language is infinite obviously we cannot store all these strings in the language on a computer therefore entire thing boils down to small point i'm going to erase this please make a note of it so now the entire thing is going to boil down to this if l is finite let us say example is if sigma equal to a comma b let us say l1 equal to set of all strings of length 2 a a a b b a b b if this is the language and if i give any string let us say a a a and if i ask a question whether this string is present in this language or not you could take each string and then examine each string and then verify each string and then verify and you and you can say that it is not there since the language is finite you can do it but what if the language is infinite let us say language l2 is set of all strings which are going to start with a then the language is a a a a a a a b so on there are there are a lot there are lots of strings right so if any string is given let us say string given is b a b a and if i ask you whether this string is present in this language l2 or not then the then the problem is uh, how long should i be comparing this see don't say that uh, maybe by looking at the first symbol it is very clear that the string is not in the language yes for us it is clear but then for a machine it doesn't think this way it doesn't think logically you have to give it a method right so you know so if this language is infinite then if you use the method of uh, linearly searching all these strings and then matching it against then the language will take forever or the machine will take forever uh, to answer this question so the simple thing is how can you given a language come up with a finite representation finite representation and uh, some finite representation which can be stored in the memory using which if i give a string if i give a string now you should be able to say yes this string is in the language or no this string is not in the language now for a language i want a finite representation whatever you could do i want to store it on a computer in a finite amount of memory and then execute on this using this and given a string to this to this finite representation i want to say whether this string is present in the language or it is not present in the language that is the simplest thing okay so maybe uh, let's take an example and see what this finite representation could be okay so i'm going to erase this you can make a note of it